Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have got for you a huge Trader Joe's haul. So we went and we stock up for the month and we got a bunch of the customer favorites because the Trader Joe's customer favorite list did get released. So I'll link that below so you guys can check it out. We got a bunch of the items that were on that list. We didn't get all of them, but just the ones that we wanted to try. And then we also got a bunch of good Valentine's goodies as well as some new items as well. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get started. We've got the um, wild arugula. This is good for um, a recipe and as well as on pizza. We've got the Mediterranean style salad kit. This is yummy. I usually have this for a lunch and this will make two. Coleslaw kit. We use this um, for tacos. We do the carnitas, which I'll show you guys, and then coleslaw. And we put that on the taco shells and it is like the super quick, really easy dinner. Chives for a recipe. Then we've got the unexpected cheddar cheese. We get this every time we go. This is one of the customer favorites. It is so good. Got some um, black forest ham. Pizza doughs, we always get these as well. These are the best pizza doughs. They're like just over a dollar and we usually separate this into two. So we like a thin crust pizza. So this makes two pizzas for us and then we freeze them. Got the mozzarella chub, obviously, to go with the pizza. Got some salami to go with the cheese to munch on. Over here, we've got the arcaccio e pepe ravioli. Um, I think this is relatively newer and we haven't tried this yet. We love Trader Joe's ravioli. They always have some really good ones. We really like the butternut squash one, but we wanted to try this one this week. We also got the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto, and this is one of the customer favorites. And we have not tried this yet before, so we're gonna do um, some chicken burgers with pesto on top, I think, this week. David wanted to try the everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip, so he grabbed that. Then this is the traditional carnitas that I was talking about. So this is already cooked. You just put it up in a pan and let it kind of like crisp up a little bit. And then like I said, we put this with the taco shells and the coleslaw and it is the best and easiest dinner. Frozen broccoli for it. And then these two ice cream um, are also custard favorites. So hold the cone. We love these chocolate chip hold the cones. They're the perfect size for a little treat. And then the Sublime Ice Cream Sandwiches, another customer favorite. These are so, so good. I love these. These are the best ice cream sandwiches ever. All right, bag number two, a bunch of frozen stuff. So let's start over here. Got the Tempura Cauliflower. We tried this um, in our Asian Trader Joe's taste test video. I'll link up above if you haven't seen that. And these are actually really good. I was just having like a taste for them. So I wanted to grab those. Then this is, I believe, relatively new. Uh, maybe within like the last few months. This is the Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. We decided to try this. They, did not, they didn't have our favorite um, Japanese style fried rice. So we decided to try this, see how this tastes. Got some garlic naan. We're having an Indian, uh, we're having an Indian dish this week. So got some naan to go with it. Cauliflower and yoki. This is one of the customer favorites. So we grabbed this. We've had this before. It's pretty good. Potato fries. Got the pork pot stickers as well as the chicken pot stickers. We get these every time we go. They're just like the perfect quick dinner. And then of course, one of the top Trader Joe's customer favorites year after year, the Mandarin orange chicken. We always get a bag of this whenever we go as well. It is that good. All right, the next bag got some snacks. So we grabbed the corn chili salsa 
And um, we had this at my in-laws and I actually quite liked it. So we grabbed that. And then we got the organic Elote corn dipper chips. And these are a customer favorite. And we have not tried these before. So I thought these would be good with some guacamole or even with this salsa. Then these are brand new. These are the dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. And honestly, these look really good and really yummy. So I'm excited to see how these are. These are another customer favorite. These are the rolled corn tortilla chips with chili and lime. And we've not tried these before either. So I'm excited to see how these are. Another customer favorite snack, the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Then we got some Valentine's Day things. While they're out, I would definitely go pick them up before they're sold out. The mini heart cookies, dark chocolate, and um, these are pretty good. They have like different flavors of these throughout the year. Like they have like the stars and during Christmas. Um, so definitely pick these up, these are good. And then we got the chocolate mousse cake. This looks delicious. This will probably, in all honesty, get eaten before Valentine's Day. It looks so good. A couple of produce items, some uh, avocados to go with the chips, onion for a recipe, and bananas for breakfast. The mini flour tortillas for that carnitas recipe I was telling you guys about. Two things of the white shell um, mac and cheese for quick lunches. And then another customer favorite, the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are so yummy and very dangerous. Got the buttermilk, um, we're making buttermilk biscuits this week. Got the yellow curry sauce as well as coconut milk and we are going to combine those and have some um, Indian this week, of uh, chicken curry. Got the sparkling black tea with peach juice, and this is a customer favorite, and this is one of our favorites too. We actually tried this in one of our taste tests earlier in 2020, and this stuff is very, very good. Definitely recommend trying this if you haven't tried it yet. We got a six pack of beer, and then we got two of the Savion Blanc the Charles Shaw, these are the 2.99 ones, and I love Savion Blanc, and this is a pretty good one for three bucks, so we grabbed two of those. Hey guys, that's everything we bought. We spent a total of $150 this week, which is a lot, but this again is our monthly stock up. We go to Trader Joe's once a month and pick a few things that, we will, that will last us for a few weeks. Um, let me know what customer favorite item is one of your favorites in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe so you can see March's Trader Joe's um, haul when that comes out next month. I'll see you in the next one.